Well, payphones of New York, it was a good run. Monday, the Big Apple announced it's ditching the coin-operated relics of the 20th century in favor of a more modern solution. The project, called Link NYC, will replace payphones in New York City's five boroughs with Wi-Fi kiosks. It's a joint effort by the city and City Bridge, a consortium of technology, design, and advertising companies. The kiosks will boast a variety of features, including free 24-7 internet access at gigabit speeds, an Android tablet touchscreen, and free charging. According to the city's press release, the new terminals will generate more than $500 million in ad revenue for the city over the next 12 years and won't cost the city's inhabitants a cent. On top of all this, the project claims it'll be one of the first free municipal Wi-Fi services in the U.S. to offer encryption, creating, quote, the most robust and forward-thinking privacy policy that is currently available. All right, so what's the catch here? Well, most people's concerns seem to lie with privacy, even with the project's mention of added security. Specifically, a BuzzFeed report from October that revealed an outdoor advertising agency placed about 500 Bluetooth tracking beacons inside phone booths throughout the city. That same company, Titan, is listed as a member of the Link NYC project. Speaking to Vice's motherboard, the executive director of the advocacy group NYC Wireless said, I think they learned a lot from the beacon controversy, and my sense is that the city is trying to be very focused and upfront about privacy issues. But it's worth noting that none of the privacy policies have been published yet. And taking a bit of a turn here, but there is always the question of what'll happen when the city's more unsanitary denizens decide to treat the kiosks just like they used to the phone booths. Right around this level is where it starts to corrode. This is usually due to both humans and dogs, you know, urinating frequently on the pedestal. And last but not least, for those who are worried about where supermen of the future will change into their costumes, don't worry. City Bridge will apparently be leaving three existing payphones in place. We are not joking. Superman is the reason nostalgia lives. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.